Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today I have for you a mailbag. I ordered some parts here, and uh, it was from uh, Mike's Electronic Parts. I um, haven't ordered from him before, but he had some unique parts, um, so I thought I'd uh, give it a try. Um, it, uh, it came from Ohio, and I live in Michigan, and look at the condition that this thing came in here. Hopefully, nothing is broken inside, but uh, that's uh, quite torn up. <laughs> I mean, I've ordered stuff from China before, and it's come in better shape than this, and this is only going from one state to the next, you know? So, don't know what happened, but uh, we'll have to open it and see what it looks inside. Um, nonetheless, it's uh, it's no fault of uh, of uh, Mike's electronic parts. Uh, I'm sure the box was perfectly fine when he sent it out. I'm just sure the uh, United States Postal Service uh, must have drop kicked it and ran it over with one of their trucks or something. But we'll open it up and see if it survived. Let's open it and see what we get. Empty this stuff out. Looks like it's well padded, so that's good. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Alright. I ordered a tuning, uh, well, actually, a variable uh, capacitor. Let's get out of here and see if we can get a little bit closer here. This is a rather uh, rather nice one. It's all metal, nice shaft. Um, I think this one was, I'll have to look, but I think it was like 385 picofarads or 400, something like that. So it'll make a nice... Uh, um, variable cap for a for a radio what I'm gonna do is here I was looking for some parts for making uh, some um, crystal crystal radios and you know you would think with all the AM radios and all the has to be in the billions and billions of AM radios produced and they're still making them people are still buying them you can still get them but you just can't seem to find um, the ferried bar antennas, those are kind of hard to find, uh, and, and a few other parts. So uh, I found uh, uh, Mike's Electronics here, so I, I, he had all the stuff, so I bought some stuff from him. So this is our, our first item here. And let's see what else we have here. taped up here. Well packaged, so that's good. Looks like everything probably survived the beating. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we have here. I ordered just a bunch of different things. And some of them are just like I say, a little harder to find than others. Okay, I got a, a nice knob for the uh, for the um, cap there, so that that'll go on the variable cap. And let me zoom out a little bit here. Oops. There we go. And here I just have a um, 100k pot. That's fairly common. But finding 
antennas, ferried bar antennas, seems to be more difficult. Now they had three different kind. I've got two of the three here, and the third one I got in. It was included in a little um, a radio uh, kit, and basically um, the one I got with the radio kit is just is just wrapped along it. And these other ones have different amounts of taps where you can like do some experimenting with the antennas. So that's why I've got um, a couple of different kind. Let's just open this one out here and take a closer look. Wow, these are really wrapped up, so that's good. Let's see if I can get the, there we go. Oh yeah, that's nice. So yeah, this one's got, let's see, one on either end, or actually one looks like tapped in the middle, and then um, towards the end, and then there's the one on the end. I'd have to look at the uh, uh, paperwork to see what exactly the description of those were. Let's see. Okay, so the the one that I got in the kit is a uh, 680 microhenry round rod coil. And then I've got a couple other ones where uh, a 680 microhenry loop stick antenna coil with tap at 470 microhenry. And then I have a 788 microhenry loop stick antenna coil as well. And that uh, air variable capacitor here was uh, uh, 384 uh, picofarads. And then I have the the knob that goes with that. And then I got the uh, potentiometer, of course. And then, of course, I got uh, two, two kits, which are probably in this here bag. So let's, uh, let's get this one. So the two kits that I got is one is an AM radio and the other one is a preamp kit. So this is the preamp kit. Comes with a nice um, circuit board and all the uh, parts. So that'll be kind of fun to, to build that. And then the, uh, the the kit that I have here is um, just basically the um, AM radio crystal radio, basically, and it runs off of one of those um, MK 484s, just a single um, like transistor styled chip that is basically the pretty much the radio. Um, it's a uh, tuned radio frequency. Um, radio so um, it's pretty primitive but um, I guess people have been getting pretty good results with these and um, these have been around for a, quite a long time and uh, you can buy these uh, separately from him as well or you can get kits and so forth so so I basically will be building these up and probably doing some videos on these separately the um, radio kit I plan to do some experimenting with those other antennas. Maybe I'll build it an initially on a, uh, a breadboard and do some experimenting with that um, before I uh, assemble it on the uh, on the circuit board. And then I'm going to assemble this preamp and um, in conjunction with the preamp and the radio and see what kind of results I get with that in addition to the other antennas. So. Um, 
lots of lots of fun, lots of experimenting for sure. But um, I'll put a link in the description of uh, uh, Mike's electronics electronic parts. And if you guys are interested, you can go over there and and see what he's got. He's got quite a variety of things, and it looks like uh, really nice stuff. Um, and uh, I'm impressed on the packaging because uh, because it really needed all that padding and the little trip that it had to get to my house anyway so anyway this is my uh, first mailbag so we'll see what happens when I put this stuff together and I'm sure there'll be videos in the future um, about these items so until next time this is the Radio Geek <laughs>